KISW. Jeets on the Street has brought us to Occidental Park for the Sonics Rally. We're going to talk to some of the major players in this arena deal and to some of the fans. Let's go check it out. I'm here at the Sonics Rally. It's just a raucous party. I'm lucky to run into uh, Jason Reed, director of the critically acclaimed documentary Sonics Gate. How's it going, bud? I couldn't be happier. This is an amazing event. We have thousands of Sonics fans down here rallying behind the Chris Hansen Arena proposal, the unprecedented uh, uh, public-private partnership where he's donating $300 million to get an arena deal done in addition to buying a team. And we have thousands of people in Seattle rallying in support of this and I think it's amazing to send this message to the city council and the county council that if they don't vote to ratify the memorandum of understanding then we're gonna miss out on perhaps the best arena deal we have ever seen in the city and that may have ever been offered in the history of, of sports. pro sports yeah. yeah make sure you check out Sonic's Gate one of the most amazing documentaries it will probably piss you off but I'll let you know the truth uh, go to sonicsgate.com for all the info Hanging out at the Sonics Rally. What's your name, dude? Yep, Ben Simon, known as Key Arena Ballerina. The Key Arena Ballerina. And I'm assuming they call you that because you have all the sweet moves, huh? Damn straight, bud. Let's see a few of them. <laughs> I think you're locking and popping simultaneously. I don't know if this is awesome or tragic, but I love it. Uh-oh! No, he did the sprinkler! He did the sprinkler! What a chance we get you to do the worm! Very small! <laughs> Backstage here at the Sonics Rally, I'm with arguably the greatest Sonic of all time, number 20, Gary Payton. Gary, what's up, baby? Hey, man, how you doing? You all right? I'm doing amazing, man. I'm doing amazing, too, man. Yeah, well, that makes two of us. All right. What about the crowd, man? The crowd is off the chain, man. I mean, this is what we expect. This is what we need. This is what you need to make a statement somewhere nationally or why. So this is what we need. We need to make a statement like this. Now, I, I want to give you credit, Gary, because right before you got traded, you were warning us all about the rat of Howard Schultz, weren't you? I was warning everybody, but they didn't listen to me. I, I guess like that. I guess you're kind of validated now. It's validated now, so they, it's over now, but we're going to get our team back. He's the culprit, he's the bad guy, so that's what we want. And Gary, I think everybody in Seattle wants the Sonics back, not only to have a team, but we need to see number 20 up in the Raptors. Yeah, and number 40, and number 11. We need to all be back in the ride. We should all be in the Raptors, and this is what we need. Well, first of all, what we want to do is just basically get a team back. Then we can worry about that. That's all I'm worried about right now. But if that happens, we'll have a great day. It'll be a great day in Seattle to bring up them three numbers because that's what it need to be. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary Payton. Thanks so much, bud. Appreciate it, you guys. Y'all have a good one out here. Yeah, I will. You too, man. <laughs> Here at the Sonics Rally, it is just a raucous party. Thousands of people here. What's your name, dude? Uh, Carl. Carl, obviously, huge Sonics fan. What would it mean to you if the Sonics came back to Seattle? That would be awesome. I was a big fan when I was a kid. I moved up here in the 80s. With Jack Sigma, Gus Williams. I got an autographed picture of Jack. It really stunk to, to, to see him leave. It was really painful. Absolutely. If you had one message for our government, for the NBA, for the nation, for Oklahoma City, what would you say to them? Don't mess this up. Let's make it happen, Seattle. Backstage at the Sonics rally, and you know what? Phoenix Jones has some pretty cute pajamas, but the real super ha superhero of Seattle, Mr. Chris Hansen. How's it going, buddy? It's good, man. How you doing? 
Now, uh, uh, it's time for 4 o'clock, yeah, already a raucous crowd here. This got to feel good, huh? It does, man. It really does. It's inspiring. So, uh, Sonic's possibly coming back, possible hockey team. What does this do for the community? I mean, it's a great asset. I think, you know, we can all remember back whether we're at a game or sitting in a bar with our buddies, reminiscing, shooting the crap about the old players that used to be on the team. Whether it be celebrating the Sonics 96 finals or crying to the loss of the Nuggets in the first round, right? Yeah, or the Lakers in the first round. Oh, man. But you know what? These are good pains to have, and hopefully this community and this government gets behind what I think is maybe the best arena proposal in all the country. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. I think it's, you know, that doesn't mean that people shouldn't ask hard questions. It doesn't mean that, you know, the, the city and county council aren't doing their job. But it's also, you know, I think when all is said and done, we've given a great deal to the city. We've got a great investor group. And uh, we're really looking forward to making this happen. And if you need facts on this situation, so, or SeattleArena.com? Exactly. That's our site, Facebook forward slash Sonics Arena, and hashtag Sonics Arena at Twitter. Here at the Sonics Rally, look who we ran into. It's Gump. Gump, I swear to God, KSW could show up in the bottom of the sewer and you'd be there to say hi. Oh, if there was drinks. <laughs> Good answer, man. Uh, obviously, you're here supporting the Sonics. Uh, what would it mean to you um, as, as a perspective of a rockaholic uh, to get the Sonics back? Well, I remember when I was nine years old, right after they won their first title, I got to be Jack Sekba. You know, it was the coolest thing. He came to win it. Nine years old, and you remember it like it was yesterday, today. I've still got the autograph. Which is awesome. Which, which, makes me, uh, which makes the point, this is more about a team. This is about community. This is about a great building. And uh, speaking on behalf of the Rockaholics, this show, just, the arena just so happened, will hold plenty of killer concerts, too. And hockey. I'm with, I'm with STP on this. I love my hockey. Love to have a team. And I'm going to love taking my niece and my nephew. They never got to see a Sonics game. They never got to see a hockey game. Here at the Sonics Rally. What's up, dude? What's your name? My name's Chad. Dude, this is quite the party, huh? This is awesome. Get you pretty excited about the Sonics coming back? Oh, I've been excited since the day they left. I'm ready. Yeah. Nice. Me too. Dude, is it me? Or I kind of feel bad for a potential rivalry with the Blazers because at this point they seem like our best man compared to what the Thunder is going to be like when they come into town, huh? Oh yeah, man. I'm, I can't wait to root against Portland again. I still do. I mean, how can you not? Man, it's Portland. That's our that's our rival city. I mean, though I always say the best thing about Portland is that it's only a three and a half hour drive from Seattle. So. <laughs> But what, what's the reaction you think going to be like when Kevin Durant and the boys come back and play in Seattle? That's going to be insane. Man, it's going to be nuts. I mean, they're, they're looking pretty tough, so whenever they come back, that's going to be a tough game. But, I mean, it, I, I think it's good for the NBA. We'll have a great rivalry. Have, rivalries make money and uh, create ratings on TV, so that's in the NBA's best interest. Let's do it. What a great time here at the Sonics Rally. Seattle, you did me proud. For 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle, this has been Jeets on the Street. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.